good morning to all for a wonderful webinar session hope you all stay home and stay safe thank you for your cooperation for all the webinar sessions whatever we are conducting and please give your support for that and uh, the topic which we are going to see today is reinforcements in revit reinforcements in revit this is a topic uh, actually uh, re uh, requested by one of few of the people who attended the webinar so we have taken those topics only so upcoming sessions will also going to be like that we are going to pick topics from the people and uh, uh, people who uh, requested for the topics to be taken so we are going to focus on that for the upcoming weeks and uh, now we'll go into the topic reinforcements in revit so generally we'll have a feature in revit we call it as a reinforcement rc structure right we'll see how this rc structure works in revit i'll jump in directly to the software not going to show any slide and uh, we'll go directly into the topic okay this is a simple rc structure this is a reinforced concrete structure i'm i want to place some a reinforcement in this structure okay first of all i i want to know what is reinforcements in a revit generally you will be seeing in structural tab there is option for structure now uh, you can place beam columns uh, walls all these floors etc right so like that uh, you have for uh, foundation connection and there is another topic we call it as a reinforcement okay in this reinforcement we're going to see how to place the reinforcements so for seeing reinforcements always please prefer to do it in any 2d view except area or uh, any path reinforcement because area you know visually you can able to place directly in the 3d view but if you want to place it properly even though you uh, you can you have to go to this elevation view or a section view okay okay let me place the reinforcement first in the slab or a wall i'll go to level one okay i have generated a section over here okay so the view depth also have controlled up to here okay let me go into the view in this view i have generated a section in this view you see there is a slab edge slab and a wall i don't want to see such a kind of lines over here so if i if i should not see something like this right i is supposed to use join geometry that you know as revit users you will be able to know how this join geometry works okay right whenever i use join geometry you see here still i am able to see the lines so i have given join geometry let me show you again see it is already joined because that's why it's not showing the option for me to join so if it is like this what is the factor affecting this line so that i suppose to identify the factor affecting is nothing but i'll go to this edit type you see here there is a material application yes there is a material application which is cast in situ concrete okay cast in situ concrete so i have to check whether the other objects are in the same material or not let me check it on the slab it is not cast in situ it is another material so let me change it to cast in situ okay let me go to this see first one is resolved second one i'll check it here uh, where it is the material material it is still in the by category i'll change it to cast in situ okay now the problem is solved so whenever you are placing something like this 
in a three to four objects com combination. So make sure all the structural objects are coming under the same material. Otherwise, you will be seeing a line crossing there. Okay, so please make sure of it. Even though if you want to join these objects, you can able to do it like this. Or if it is a foundation, so it is a foundation. I don't want to see something like this. You can just leave it with the value uh, with the lines, whatever you have. Okay. All right. Let me go into the reinforcement process. Okay. I want to place the reinforcement. Let me go to the structure. Rebar normally you can able to place it using some rebar shapes loaded. So I'll load the shapes. Generally, I can able to load the shapes over here or otherwise load shapes. Okay, so you can able to identify here what is the shapes available. See here, rebar shapes. So you can choose all and I can you can able to load it into the project. But I have already the rebar shapes loaded, so I'm going to use it from here. Whenever I can I can I want to load an object right, so I can able to see here some types available for me to place okay if i want to take a stirrup shape for this object so when i'm placing a, a rebar right i supposed to uh, use some placement facing so we'll see what and all those things so first there is a rebar and there is a sketch option also this free form i'll show you at the end of the session okay and you see here current plane near to the cover near to far from the cover parallel to the work plane parallel to the cover perpendicular to the work plane so what are all these things we'll see first okay current work plane current work plane is nothing but your section is your current work plane okay and whenever uh, you want to place something on the object you can use parallel to the work plane parallel to the work plane is nothing but your cut section exactly where it is placed okay i'll show you the location here in the view you can able to see tile window so the exact position where you cut the object that is this work plane got it so i have to fix the rebar value also let me place it like this so generally i'll close the unwanted views generally when i'm placing a rebar right so you can able to see something like this thin line when i'm seeing something like a thin line you no need to worry because of the uh, reduction of file size okay reduction of view size this has been given like this so if you set it to fine mode you can able to see the actual size of the rebar okay so i've created some rebar over here for the stirrup okay i want this to be a replicate to the entire length of the beam okay entire length of the beam so when i want to place it this option what i what is the option i choose rebar which is parallel to the cover i placed like this parallel to the uh, sorry parallel to the work plane i choose parallel to the cover what what will happen so when i choose something like parallel to the cover okay i'll choose a different shape then you can able to identify easily so i'll take this shape so if i place it something like this see the point is displaying So the option which I choose to place this stirrup is parallel to the work plane. Now I'm going to choose parallel to the cover. Okay, parallel to the cover I'm going to choose. Let me choose parallel to the cover. And the option which I'm going to choose is the stirrup. And I'll, I'll show you the difference. What is the difference will happen. And perpendicular to the cover so let's see all the three options how it how it is placed when i go to a 
riba. Now go to a 3D. Okay, so I want to select this particular beam. Let me choose the beam over here. Yes. So I'll isolate the element. So I'll keep it in the view first. So whenever I want to see a object, uh, especially the rebar, okay. So I'm supposed to switch on the settings in 3D. Here, in 3D, I'm supposed to switch on the view. Yes. So let me delete this. So let me tell you one by one the options. So the top one is not here because of the slab. Okay, don't worry about that. So first one, this one I place. This option I placed using a rebar option, which is let me close this. In the section I'll show you. Using a parallel to work plane so this one place parallel to the cover so when i see here in the 3d so something i can able to place it like this which is parallel to the cover okay and perpendicular to the cover something i can able to place it like this the cover is nothing but the the distance between the rebar and the outer side of the concrete structure okay so if you want to place it something like this you can able to place it using these three options okay one is parallel to the work plane parallel to the cover and parallel perpendicular to the cover okay quickly we go to the next shape of the rebar i'll use the option which is straight bar okay let me click over here and the same rebar i'll slightly increase the size okay so it is 22 for an example i'm just changing the size okay so if you uh, this is the 16 is the one right now uh, in field we are using minimum okay so i use this 16 and uh, here you see I'm using this 22 roughly I'm just uh, using it and uh, this one I can able to set the distance see here fixed number or maximum spacing anything you can able to choose so let me choose the fixed number so uh, in between it has been uh, placed like this or if it is not fitting uh, it's supposed to travel over here so what you can do is you can able to increase the spacing between the rebars so let me increase the spacing of the rebars uh, let me make it as 200 apply okay. so if i want to place a rebar uh, main main bar okay main bar i'm going to place it using the straight bar so I'm going to place this bar using this parallel option, parallel to the cover option. So I'll choose this 22 mm. So I'm placing it here. Okay. So let me place it like this and also like this. And if I want to make this rebar to the next next levels, I can able to copy or I can use another option to place i'll show you that option also so let me place it like this and so this one you can able to adjust and delete it so based on the cover sorry the slowness in the system 
let me place it like this in the reverse okay so now i'm going to place this reverse on the top also yes exactly so on this so i'm just going to place it right so after placing this can i able to see that in the 3d yes if you want to see it in the 3d what you have to do you have to select the rebar and in the view in the rebar view visibility is supposed to switch on on the 3d view so you can able to see 3d like this okay what if the uh, stirrups i want to increase in numbers yes you can able to increase see here maximum spacing or fixed numbers you can give let me give it as maximum spacing the spacing as oh, i want to give it to 150 cm center see that is rebars av available okay let me unhide the rest of the element inside the slab that is a beam so i've placed the beam okay i'm not able to see it very clearly in this view okay so the same size i have on the above so can i able to copy this yes you can able to copy the detail see here you can select the objects rebar types copy and you can use multiple copy also Select here anywhere you require, you can able to place it like this. Okay, so the rebar shapes are available now. These places, see, only thing you're supposed to activate it again. You have to activate that again. Filter rebar structural rebar and switch on the visibility even when you are placing the rebar itself you can able to change the visibility that also i'll tell you next one okay see i have a rebar placed on here okay so this one i have done what if i want a rebar on the column i want to place it on the column so where to place it i'll go to level one <coughs> In level 1, I'm going to place rebar on the columns. Okay. On the columns, I'm just going to place the rebars over here and here. Okay. For example, using the rebar option, I'm going to place it over here. Okay. So let me click on the stirrups. Okay. In the stirrups, I want to make it parallel to the work plane something like this you got it parallel to the work plane so just placing it here reverse shape place on the post okay so not 22 let me change it to 16 yes yeah. okay this one also let me change the size for this one 16 i'm just placing right so let me change this not single number maximum spacing so maximum spacing i'm just giving 200 mm okay i've just given 200 mm and also rebar shapes straight bar parallel not parallel to the cover the shape i'm just changing 22 or 25 whatever based on the design you can able to place it why there is a gap between these things you know because when i keep it in fine mode that will fill the location got it so when i'm placing a rebar because of the file size so the, the model is reacting like this so let me place it like this 
So if I keep it in uh, wireframe, then it will be easy for me to place it directly on the model. Okay. So let me show you here. So now when I'm placing it here, if I activate this one directly, wherever I place the rebar, okay, so it will display in 3D directly. This is just an example I'm just showing you. Okay, all the rest of the four is not activated on that time. Now this one I've activated already. So now you see in 3D. Okay. So let me select. Let me select the filter view. So when I select here, the visibility of the 3D I have to choose it here. So I can able to see directly here in the 3D. Right? Okay. So the rebar has been placed like this. So if I want, if I want any of the rebars uh, to have the hoop kind of structure. Right, I, ca I can select the rebars, I can set the hooks over here. How the hooks has to be. So which direction the hooks has to be placed, that you can set it here. So let me set it for uh, the beams. Let me select here. So if I want a hook 90, see the hook may be like this. Okay, if I want the hook has to be 180, see the hook will be bent. 180, I think at the end, end uh, it will be like 180 uh, here. See, there will be something like this. Okay, and also when you want to place the rebars are the straight okay what if the rebars generally are the straight rebars how it connect to the other rebars so generally they'll be doing uh, will be doing lapping right but here in rivet or nowadays people are using couplers okay couplers they are using so the same option is also available here say for example i choose this rebars so I'm selecting the rebars over here and from this rebar I'm going to copy this rebar to the next level. See here, I'm going to the plan view, okay to the next level I'm just going to copy the rebar, copy, okay. So once again I'll just show you in the 3D how, the, how it is. So I'm just going to copy this entire set to here. Okay. So or I can able to connect any existing uh, beams to that one. Okay. So let me do one more time. See here. So to this this beam or this beam to the next continuous beams. I'm just going to copy. Okay. Let me do it again. I'll just select it here. So any any beam I can select. So you know this filter option, right? I'll select it here. Go to filter option. Rebar. Click here. Okay. Go back to the plan view. I'm just going to copy the set of the beams. I'm sorry, set of the rebars. Just copying to the next uh, rebar. Operation. I just copied it. Now going to the 3D, you can see the difference over here. Okay, so I'll use the section box option over here. Okay, 
let me show you the section one it is so let me go to this one so from here i'm going to do that okay so let me do a window selection all the rebars has been selected rebar so all these things why i am activating it because i can able to visually see the rebar that is the one th uh, main thing i am doing this kind of activation okay see these rebars are activated now and generally uh, in 3d if you rotate only you can able to see how it is placed you see here it is actually placed on the exactly on the surface of the column and you see some changes I have to do it very little amount okay so let me do it in this rebar also some sample I'm just showing okay so let me show you some sample this rebar I'm just taking it up to here okay and also the opposite rebar so which has to be connected let me bring that rebar to here now you see both the rebars has to be connected so for that i can insert the couplers if the couplers is not available right you can load couplers into this library which is like load okay once you click click there go to your libraries which is library check the couplers load your required standard couplers or any other edges if it is edges or whatever it is you can able to choose it i'm going to choose the standard one i've loaded so my diameter is different so i'm just choosing the uh, 22 by 22 because this one is also 22 this one is also 22 so I'm choosing this coupler between this rebar and this rebar see this rebar and this rebar the coupler has been introduced can you see the rebar activity what is done I'm just bringing it here so I'm just selecting the rebar and placing it here couplers one and two one and two okay what if I have different spices of rebars huh? this is a challenge right so what if I have different sizes of rebar nothing you have to do so you just have to duplicate it and define the size that is that is the simple thing you have to do this is 22 right now i'm making it as 25 25 okay for all the beams i'm going to make it like that so i'll choose the rebar uh, to 25 mm so see here i'm just changing this one also to 25 mm this is just for the example i'm just telling don't think that how can a design be changed like uh, rebar sizes all these things this is for an example i'm just telling to you so when i want to create something like that i have to specify the name 22 to 25 m so i think i have chosen this wrongly sorry sorry for that i'll go to this couplers ah, so here i suppose to rename it sorry extremely sorry for that 25 So I've duplicated a name and first 
size and second size anything you can able to choose see here 25 m let me click on the first one and the second one first one and the second one first one and the second one. you got it different sizes of couplers also can be connected so that is that is how the couplers can be used okay so like this i can able to do it okay these are all the uh, rebars that i can able to create okay so what if i want to create these rebars using sketch option i want to use this rebars in sketch option how to use it okay let me go to this section again even in the section i can go to this rebar okay in this one i can choose any direction i want to place it right even here okay here nothing uh, is showing the position see just like this i can able to place but i don't want to place something like this and also let me reduce the size also i don't want this much bigger 16 mm if i'm reducing the size so let me go to one more time the glance the shape which is required for me whether it is here or not let me check it there are few shapes but i don't want to use those shapes okay something like this only i'm going to create but in a reverse manner see i select this rebar edit sketch okay in the sketch i can able to add the rebar shapes so finish the shape is added already into the list see here into the list the shape which i created is added already so that is the main purpose you no need to create it again and again so once you create it, it will be added into the rebar library and also this can be extended anywhere it, it is required this you can able to extend and do you want to create a uh, bend on this hook on this yes you can edit the sketch you supposed to edit the sketch you supposed to edit the sketch edit sketch and from here i'm just placing it on the sketch finish it okay again here it is sketch so you can able to sketch it that's that's the main thing okay you can able to sketch this here so you can sketch like this you see here yeah finish it so like this i can able to place it on the wall or with the foundation you want to place any shapes other than this you can able to identify from here see some of the shapes available so i can place it like this right or the straight bars itself even the straight bars itself i want to place it on the orientation like this okay simple i'm, I'm not going to copy or anything only the spacing or uh, only the numbers i'm just going i can give it will be replicating on its own see if it is 150 will be updated if it is 200 will be updated see so based on the value see that for this value only there there is an undulation so don't worry so this can be identified by adjusting the distance okay that can be possible even in 3d i want to see something like this so just select it all the rebars you can select it 
make it as uh, activation riba i want to see in the solid view edit here see 3d yes now i can able to see this rebars okay so whatever rebars are available here so you can able to change the values over here fixed distance or numbers maximum spacing see so it is in hundreds so if you want to reduce it you can able to reduce the values okay so like this you can able to place your rebars rebars and rebar shapes okay whatever we are creating as rebars like this okay rebars i'm just creating rebar couplers i'm creating so i can able to uh, just uh, i i can able to create models what if i want to take the quantity of all these rebars and uh, if i want to take any uh, like Uh, in length or uh, any any other uh, quantity wise if i want to take i can able to take it as a schedule okay so let's see uh, in this how we can able to generate schedules for this rebars whatever so far we placed so like the same thing we can able to place it everywhere so let me go to this view schedule of quantities i'll i'll be taking this schedule of quantities and in a rebar okay structural rebar i'm just taking it okay the shapes a b all the shapes you can able to load it so if 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 it is required okay so if it is required you can able to take it and the count you can able to take it bend dia bar length bar dia okay and type mainly uh rivet basically you have to take the type then only you can able to differentiate what is the size and uh, any other specifications uh shapes also be available there okay shapes meaning uh, shape numbers will be available okay not the shape of shape like bar bending schedule okay so from here we will be taking this and uh, rebar number if it is required uh then rest of the things are spacing yes spacing you can able to have only when you specify the spacing only it will appear over here okay total bar length all these things balance are already there so let me move this type before and the count and uh, so all i just bring it above okay finish you can able to see all the values here okay 16 mm 16 all are this stirrups so that's why it shows this bend a b c d all these values are here so revit users generally you know how to edit the schedule so by type voice you can make it header and footer and let me check it see so the sizes is splitted over here a b c and the, the sh shapes the rebar shapes are available here the spacing of that particular rebars are there okay the total rebar quantity is there so if you want the total length or everything you can able to apply here grand total bar length okay so bar count so you can able to give overall length of the steel which is provided and the number of pieces of uh, uh, the sizes with the length how much you have to prepare so that those things also available here high number right but like bar bending schedule you can't able to place it here but if you have an image that for sure you can able to bring it into this uh, uh, schedule okay right so in this one in this one again i'll come back to the model from here 
So I've placed these three bars here. Okay. So I showed I have shown you this options like in rebar. I've shown you uh, again in 3D. It is not displaying for me properly. Rebar. Yes, we have seen this rebar placement using shapes and the sketch option also we have seen. Uh, so when I go to this section right, I can go to this direct sketch option also. See direct sketch option. I can click on any objects which is required. See in this one also I can able to sketch directly what is required for placing this rebar. See the size is also mentioned here. So based on that only the sizes will appear. 16 number. So like this you can able to place your rebars with the shapes uh, based on the span direction. Okay. So you can able to create something like this as a rebar. Okay. One thing. So this is the one thing so that you can select the face and directly you can start sketching on the slab or wall with using this sketch option. Okay. That is rebar. Okay. Whenever I select a component over here. I see here something called rebar cover. Okay. So why I'm telling the rebar cover apart from this right. Rebar cover when you are placing a component you must understand what is rebar cover. So when I select the rebar cover there are options. One is entire object. Another one is by face. Pick by face. Right. So when I go to rebar cover. Just see the simple example over here. So on the sides, there are different uh, spacing, bottom different spacing, top different spacing. Okay. So this is a property which is already defined inside the cover. See here, there is some specification given 40 mm on the rebar cover and 75 mm on the bottom. Then 40 mm on the sides. So these are all the top bottom and other top bottom and other spacings which is defined for the uh, spacing of this cover okay so how uh, we can able to define it so we'll see that so by selecting here you can able to define that now you know already any object any object even walls also see here exterior interior for walls it is exterior and interior side and other sides other sides is nothing but top and bottom okay so like this you can able to define but but can i able to define my spacing yes you can able to define for the entire object or by facing 40 if i want this 40 to be ap applied for entire object okay let me select this define 40 you see the difference let me do it again so i'll go to this cover select object entire object 40 see the change is happening okay or by face now by face i am going to pick by face i want here here by 50 See the modification happening. So on the two sides, I want 50. So the the spacing of the cover you can able to define. That is the ultimate ultimate aim of this command. So I select here. One side I want to be 75. See the difference. So based on that, <coughs> excuse me. So based on that, the rebar cover will reflect okay so this is the rebar cover property now i come back to this rebar again so generally when you want to place a rebar you can use section option to place the rebar 
So I told you already how to place this rebars in the section and the plan view. Okay, you can able to place the rebars. And I want to place a rebar on the area option. See, area and path reinforcement. Both options we are going to see. Fabric we are not going to see because fabric or wires generally. These fabrics uh, uh, will explain in the next session. session okay. In 2021, uh, we have a update that like this rebar, we can able to switch on this rebar, fabric rebar, uh, fabric uh, wires also. Okay, fabric wires. So this is a reinforcement, but this is wires. Okay, so there is a difference in that. Okay, we'll see the area reinforcement next one. Okay, when I go to this area reinforcement, I click on the object. Before that, let me go to the elevation, any one of the elevation okay, in the building. So, the elevation, you must have a <coughs> face to place it as I, as I told you. Let me take this elevation, rest elevation. Okay. So, now I want to place rebars on the surface over here. So, let me go to this one area reinforcement i pick the wall so the wall you can directly pick and you can able to sketch it directly you got it when i'm placing it directly there it will be displaying you major bar direction okay minor bar direction so uh, you can able to see here major major all this are major bar and then minor uh, then after minor bars are coming Major bar thickness, what it has to be. Major uh, minor bar thickness, what it has to be. So, what is the major bar interior side? Major bar uh, direction and minor bar uh, bar, dire bar direction. And uh, uh, what is the thickness of it? So, all these things are specified here. So, you can able to modify those things. And if you finish it, let me show you a magic. So I select here, here in the visibility, I'm going to switch on my reinforcement, see, this is my reinforcement area reinforcement, okay, so like this I can able to give, if you have a column already over there, column reinforcement already there, that can be hooked using here, see. The area reinforcements I'm just selecting so you can able to define the hooks 90 or 180 so that you can able to define see the hooks can be defined like this so based on the requirement based on the requirement you can able to introduce the hooks on the rebar okay so by using this option, you can able to place the rebars and uh, uh, on the area reinforcement. Okay, so then what if I want to place it on the slab? Okay, slab. A simple command I'm going to use. I'm going to isolate the slab very simply. I'm going to isolate the slab. Isolate element. Okay. Simply I'm going to place this arrow uh, area reinforcement. Click on this. Use pick line option, okay. Let me go over here. Tab option. I'm going. To, I'm using the tab option, and I'm selecting the entire set. Click over here. So in this one, I'm going to switch it on the visibility of this option. Let me go and check it in 3D. See here, the reinforcement has been placed. On the slab surface. Okay, so like this, the area reinforcements you can able to place it over the model. Okay, if it is not required, you can able to control the visibility actually. Okay, you can able to make it like this. So these are all the reinforcement patterns you can able to make it. So override the you are using that override you can able to differentiate by color differentiation and some colors are overriding so you can able to differentiate it solid formation 
so some of the colors which you want to change see here so let me click on this so just to differentiate the color of your riba so i'm just uh, given this color see okay i want to differentiate some other color also yes it is still possible so just select the one override let me show you again and override accessing element and also because of the this many rebars is there right so that's why it is showing like this some different colors that's it so like this you can able to differentiate your uh, rebar patterns under the color okay so this is how we can able to place rebars on the uh, object and the uh, RC structure. Okay, I have shown you something which is preform. Okay, this preform how we can able to place it. We'll see. And also one more thing I forgot to say. Uh, let me go to this view. As if it is hidden, path reinforcement. What is path reinforcement? We'll see. Path reinforcement again. You can choose the slab, and you can define the path from start to end. And from here, you're not supposed to close this rebar. Like I, I, I want to continue. Uh, don't continue this until the end. Face by face, you have to do side by side. Okay, this side is done now. So the next side, I have to do it later. Let me complete this one. Okay, again the visibility. If you want to switch it on, please switch it on using the options which is available here. Reba. In 3D, let me rotate. See here, this is my Reba edge. For edges, these rebars are placed. Okay. So this is called path reinforcement. Path reinforcement, you can able to make it right. And in this one, path reinforcement has been generated. So let me check it here. See, your schedule has become bigger because I have added components now. I am adding rebars again and again. So my schedule is become bigger. All the uh, stirrups or bend all these things has been added automatically here. Can you see that? So B A length and A, A, A length and B length all these things has been added automatically. So where it is required. Okay, and all the shapes whatever you're using, I can you can able to see it here with the summation of the length and length and the count. Okay, so with the summation of length and count. Uh, so th this is how you can able to generate and you can able to place it on the sheet or you can able to export as a excel also okay the schedules can be exported as excel also right so now we go back to this let me go back to the other shape free form let me close this i'll open a model free form what is this free form so generally when i'm placing some uh, uh, shapes of rebar right i can able to place it straight if my object is straight i can able to place it what if my object is uh, bend and as well elevated on the other side okay how to make it we'll see see here let me show you in the front view it is having a path bend and as well two elevated one one side is down another one is elevated so how to place something like this excuse me how to place something like this I'll show you the example over here. See, in structure, rebar, let me load the rebar shapes. Free form. 
when i'm placing this preform there are two type aligned and surface two type of uh, rebar uh, placements are there let me use align first when i'm using align you have to define the uh, you have to define this surface can you see this select host surface so the on the cursor you can see on the cursor you can see select host surface let me click on the surface then path i define the path now i have to define how many numbers is required just like that i'm just giving 30 finish it see my rebars have been appeared in the properties you can able to define the hooks how it has to be see the hooks okay let me go down i want to see the visibility of that particular object see 10 i don't know where we are using the 10 okay let me use 25 see right so here another hook i'm just extending so let me do it again you watch it again rebar load rebar shape aligned i'm, I'm using aligned path so aligned here it is display, displaying path which is the next command but now the first command is post surface you have to select then path okay and now itself we can switch it on and here fix it numbers just make it 30 finish it the same thing happening ah okay now it is visible last time it was not happened now i'll just change this size even when i'm creating the size also can be defined okay i'll select this so on this path you're clear on this path it has been placed as a reverse shape clear okay this is a way to place the river on here okay what is the next shape which is surface okay surface meaning you see the always you see the cursor okay select host surface the same surface i'm going to select okay the next you enter space bar or you can select the enter button okay right next command is select start surface so where you're going to start here i'm going to start gain space bar end surface end surface i have to define the number 15 number of 25 number fresh see 15 numbers of 25 number i have placed it here and i'm defining the value see there is a reverse place okay in this one i'm just choosing the rebar below overwrite as just for the indication i'm just doing it you can use filter options also okay this is just for the indication i'm just doing okay right so the color difference is there so this one i'm just choosing right click overwrite existing element it will load for a while 
and I'm changing the color of it. Yes. Okay, so like this, I can able to place it, and also this can be manually adjusted also. Okay, so I'll just select this ribbon. You can manually move or uh, based on the value, right? You can able to assign this. See, I'm just so simply I'll just bring it down. One value I'll just shift it. So now it is placed over here. This is how the freeform rebar has to be placed. Reform rebar. One is aligned, another one is surface. Okay. So you, if you have any doubts, you can able to ask us. Okay. Right. So these are all the topics we planned to cover today. So one is rebar. Rebar in rebar, you can able to see sketch option preform. Preform we have taken now, and uh, the other options are. You can able to see here current work plane so which is placement plane placement plane and the placement orientation okay so both we have seen and also in this <coughs> in this we have seen this preform and the area reinforcement path reinforcement we have seen okay so a rest of the things like kind of uh, Fabric reinforcement, all these things we can see later. We have seen cover and rebar couplers also. Okay, cover rebar couplers are very important. So whenever you are using this kind of uh, uh, joining of reinforcement, all these things, you can able to join two different reinforcements. Okay, two different reinforcements, not at the same reinforcement. You are not supposed to split reinforcement and attach. So it is not possible. Okay. So you're supposed to attach two different reinforcement together. That is possible through couplers, two different reinforcement again tell me. Okay. So that you can be attached. Right? So if you have any doubts regarding this reinforcement, you can able to contact us anytime. Okay. And also please post your uh, feedbacks. Uh, we are anytime ready to support you. Please post your feedbacks. Uh, that will help us to conduct more sessions on the subjects. Okay, on the subjects, it will help you to address, help us to address. And uh, please uh, fill the feedback forms. That is the more important thing for us because that from that only we have taken this topic, and uh, we will be focusing on some more topics on as people suggested so we'll be taking those topics also okay and uh, we are planning to conduct a, a live session uh, uh, addressing the queries of the people okay uh, we are planning for it soon we'll announce that for you so live interaction so on rivet on any specific topic we'll be uh, telling a, a day before or uh, a week before uh, and in that session, we'll be addressing your requirements, uh, whatever requirement you're asking. So we'll be questions will be, you'll, you're asking, we'll be addressing it. And if it is not able, not possible to address immediately, so we'll be uh, addressing it at the every end of the uh, session on this uh, webinar. Okay, so once we, once we are come, conducting webinar on a topic, uh, According to the client's uh, requirement, we'll address one doubt at the end of the session. Okay, so we are planning for it. Uh, we need all your encouragement. Okay, so that only if you are encouraging, uh, only we can able to make it successfully. Okay, please, please help us for uh, please help us with your co cooperation. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, thank you so much.